Hi there. Today I'm going to be looking at a hair straightener. It's a silver bullet uh, model. Florentine. Or Florentine. Not like turpentine perhaps. Um, this one doesn't have a model number. They don't really put model numbers on those that I can see. Yeah, anyway. Awfully pretty looking thing. Very flowery, but it won't turn on. And uh, up in here we've got our on-off switch. Um, there uh, is a temperature control. And uh, that's about it. Um, the I do know for a fact that the swivel connector in there uh, can fail, and often does fail. Um, I that's a common fault with like GHD uh, and other brands even the expensive brands aren't uh, immune to it so anyway the first thing I'm going to do is uh, grab my multimeter and uh, test the mains plug uh, for any resistance to show that that might be connected through and I've got 560k just do it the other way just for kicks I don't know if it'll have a 430 the diode off there and if I switch it to on yeah so the uh, power switch doesn't really affect that so obviously uh, wherever the mains goes in, it's um, somewhat live to a point and the on-off switch is just uh, possibly like a soft on that, that uh, gets the temp controller going. So now I need to take it apart and have a closer look inside. So to get these off, we need to pop off the little, these little side caps and uh, they just held on by a couple of little pins in this case. Sometimes I've got little clips sticking out, but there's just a couple of uh, press fit pins to those little holes, which is nice because uh, it means you don't break anything getting them off. All right, so we have a single screw. Now, of course, these hinges are sprung-loaded, so they can be a, a barrel of fun. And once the screw's out, I believe the center with the thread will push out, maybe. Maybe. There we go. So the center bit that has the thread in it but, um, makes the hinge pivot. And, uh, and then as you can see, the two parts come apart. And uh, in this case, the spring doesn't appear to be too violently twisted up in there. So. Here we can see the mains cable coming through there from the uh, pivot connector uh, through the hinge to the... Actually, no, sorry, it's not the mains cable. <laughs> the main, it's the control side there. That's just a, a wire feeding the heating element at this end. So next step will, will be to unscrew the... Uh, cover to the control side and I've got one screw here I'm not sure I may not need to take this whole cover off it does give 
kind of ready access into the board there, but it's probably going to be a better bet to remove that, these two screws here and take the whole, uh, the whole piece apart so we can trace it through better. And uh, here we go, we can lift the cover out. It looks like that variable control might get in the way. Or can we come around it? No, we can work our way around it. That's good. There's a screw holding the knob on there. Now, just having a quick look for anything obvious. Um, bad solder joint, for example. But uh, nothing really standing out. Uh, there's one small IC at the top there that does our temperature control. And uh, I don't think there'd be much on the back. Oh, uh, yep, there's our FET. Here we go. I'll just pull that out. Okay, I've just lifted the heating element out so I can spin the board over and uh, having a look at the back side, we've got um, our uh, um, transistor or FET or possibly even a TRIAC uh, that controls the AC through to the heater and uh, uh, both heating elements and uh, we've got our AC input here and uh, that gives us power to the control circuit. Now uh, we've got our phase and neutral coming in each side there. Um, and uh, phase comes through a resistor, which is the one on the back, through this diode. So we've got um, half wave rectification there. And uh, through the on off switch. So I guess first thing would be to check that we have power going through that resistor. And I must say, on close inspection, it is looking like it's it's got rather hot. So uh, it's probably a whole lot easier just to measure its value instead of plug it in and take measurements. From a safety point of view, it means you're not working around uh, live wires. So uh, so yeah, I mean if we measure the resistor and it's and it's a high value, then obviously that's going to be a good place to start. So, got the meter there, and uh, this is uh, red, 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 which would be two, two, and two zeros for 2.2k ohms. And uh, right there, you can see I'm getting absolutely no reading off that at all. Marvelous. First thing will be to replace that uh, resistor. Now this unit is a year old, so uh, I'm told it gets used uh, daily, and uh, I suppose 12 months of solid use, 365 odd days worth, uh, yeah, it's done all right, I guess. I don't know what uh, the average long-haired person would uh, normally use their straightener for, but. Uh, here we go, there's the diode on the top side there, that's measuring all right. Okay, let's find another resistor. Right, so this actually looks like orange, I think. I've uh, misread the color bands on that, but that doesn't matter too much because um, providing I go with orange first, it's not going to be too low to be an issue if it is going to be an issue. Um, by comparison, the only one I've got on hand is somewhat smaller, so this is only going to be a test. I certainly wouldn't leave it in there because it wouldn't last that long at all. But uh, tomorrow, if this works, I will be able to go and purchase the correct size. That looks like possibly a, a half watt. It's, um, it's quite large. Anyway, um, We'll just uh, get some solder onto the ends of these leads and uh, get it on there and see what happens. Got a nice handy block of lead. Makes a great counterweight when you don't want anything to move while you're working on it.
Right, resistor is in, and uh, now we shall turn it on and uh, see if we get a light out of this thing. Magic! Temperature variation. That seems to be working. I'll just leave it on low and uh, it should come up to temperature and uh, switch off. They're definitely getting hot and that's off there and that's only set to about 120. 120. Hmm, marvellous. Okay, tomorrow I shall go and purchase a much larger resistor and uh, we'll be able to put it back together and she will be most happy. Thanks for watching. I will not be giving a demonstration of straightening my hair because I barely have any and what is there is rather short.